So let's look at the newest film from director and writer Darren Aronofsky who gave us Black Swan, The Wrestler, and Requiem for a Dream. Explanation Point, directed and written by Darren Aronofsky, the man that gave us Black Swan, The Wrestler, Requiem for a Dream, and some other movies. This man is a very good director, and I did like his movies in the past. I did like Noah, and Black Swan is definitely one of my favorite films by him. I do like The Wrestler a lot. So when I heard that he was coming out with this new movie starring Harvey R. Bardem and Jennifer Lawrence, I was very interested and I did like the trailer for the film. However, this film is marketed as a horror movie and that is not what this movie is. This movie is not a horror film. This is a much different kind of film. It's more of an avant-garde kind of film. Very abstract, has some metaphors in it. Javier Bardem is a poet living in this home in the middle of nowhere with his very young wife played by Jennifer Lawrence. They get some uninvited guests played by Ed Harris and Michelle Pfeiffer. The Gleason brothers show up in this movie, Brian Gleason and Domino Gleason. Later on, near the end of the movie, uh, Kristen Wiig shows up. As more and more people come in uninvited, more chaos ensues and Jeff Lawrence is trying her best to deal with all these uninvited guests and that's pretty much our movie. And there's more once you get into the symbolism of the movie and I may decide to spoil a little bit of the symbolism but not all of it. First of all, let's get into the positives of this film. Harvey R. Bardem and Jennifer Lawrence are great in this movie. Harvey R. Bardem does a great job playing this poet that has writer's block and is inviting all these people into his home in order to open himself up to new ideas. And you have Jennifer Lawrence who's just trying to fix up the place and doesn't like the fact that you got all these uninvited guests doing whatever they want to her home and not following the rules of the place, like the fact that she doesn't want anybody smoking, but Ed Harris's character decides to smoke in the house anyway. Ed Harris, I thought was great in the movie. I already did like his character and I liked Michelle Pfeiffer in the film. I thought she was very good in the movie. The Gleason brothers I thought were very good in the film as well, Brian Gleason and Domino Gleason. I didn't expect to see Kristen Wiig in this film. She was a bit of a surprise when I saw her in the movie. I thought she was pretty good once her character shows up. The movie really does a good job with, with the metaphors that it's trying to convey and the message it's trying to tell. It took me a while to understand what was going on, but once I realized what was going on, I really enjoyed this movie and I may decide to see it again to understand a little bit more of what was going on in the film and maybe wait, wait until it comes out on Redbox to watch it again just maybe one more time, but I don't know if I want to really buy it because this movie is a bit much. And everybody's going to have their own different reactions to this movie. Some may like it and some may hate it, but I do think this movie's worth checking out anyway. So I'm going to give this movie a B plus. It's definitely worth seeing in the theater and that's all I got to say for Mother with an exclamation point. As far as who Harvey R. Bardem's character and who Jennifer Lawrence's character are supposed to represent in this film, Harvey R. Bardem is supposed to represent God and Jennifer Lawrence is Mother Earth or Mother Nature. One of the posters for this movie actually spoils that. And the rest of the characters, I'm not going to fill in the blanks on who they represent. 
but you can figure that out from me telling you that Harvey Bardem is God and Jennifer Lawrence is Mother Earth. And that's all I gotta say for this movie. Definitely check out Mother.